Good evening, President Amesqua, members of the school board, Superintendents Tower and Ross Manson, and community members. My name is Alexis Benitez, and I attend Circles High School at the Advanced Learning Academy. At Circles, all the students have been working very hard. The novice speech and debate team got third place sweepstakes, and many of us taking additionally academic challenges by taking college classes as SAC. Last Wednesday, Circle students gave their 100% on the PSAT, and we killed it because our teachers have been preparing us, and we felt confident with it. As Circles, we continue to learn community spaces. In October, we have visited places like the Santa Ana History Room, the OC Archives, where we were able to see and touch things like the old maps of our city. We also learned a Latino health access where we explore Topics like the diabetes awareness, the lack of information the city the city residents face, housing justice, and the importance of voting. We were able to learn through a real experience instead of just seeing something on a book on a book or a screen. What is more exciting that in a couple of weeks we'll be able to propose our research topics for our circles project this year. We'll be assign our own project we will design our own projects that impact our community. Our teachers will mentor us in places in different places based on our topics for the next few months. At Circles, we have many events that we're looking for. Let me invite you to attend our following events. This, this Thursday, we're going to the Cal State Fullerton Oran Public History Center at the collection and the special connection collections with the help us with our research projects. This Friday, 25th, we have our Halloween festival from 3.30 to 5.30 at the, at the Advanced Learning Academy campus. On Saturday, October 26th, our speech and debate, uh, speech and debate team will be competing at El Dia de los Muertos Speech and Debate Tournament at Century High School. In October 31st, we're going to explore the exhibitions and the amber and spaces of photography. On November 2nd, the juniors will be, will be attending a soccer game at Cal State Fullerton. In the same day, in circles will be attending at the Noche of Altares. On, number, on no, November 4th, we'll be, look, we'll be working with Latina Health Access to remind the Santa Ana residents to go and vote for a special elections coming up. And, on, and last but not least, on November 16th, we'll be competing at the flag football tournament. As you can tell, we have many events that are coming up. In circles, everything that we do is directly connected to the city that we love, Santa Ana. We learn, we learn more about our program and what makes us different. You can join our circle by following us on Instagram at circles underscore SAUSD. Thank you. Cesar Chavez, Leonola, Leonela Ramirez. Good evening, Board President Ms. Amesqua, members of the school board, Superintendent Dr. Rasmussen and Mr. Tower, Executive Cabinet members and members of the audience. My name is Inara Ramirez and I am your student ambassador for Cesare Chavez High School. And here are some highlights from our school. First, I'd like to highlight three great extended support programs on our campus. The first is Nutri Ground, a program built to serve and assist students from all works of life, all walks of life. They provide prevention, intervention, and mediation services. Their aims are to reduce violence on campus, drug awareness, as well as game prevention. The second is our district provided, new district provided school social worker, Daniel Soto, who performs a variety of duties and responsibilities, which include providing services to students to enhance their emotional well being and improve their academic performance. Mr. Soto does this by monitoring attendance, case managing, advocating for students and parents, mediating, counseling, and distributing resources. The third is our PM program at Chavez High School. This innovative concept offers courses to meet graduation requirements at an alternative time frame between the hours of 2.45 8 to 8 p.m. The PM program offers a great opportunity for students to be concurrently enrolled in a AM program or their home high school while recovering credits. As a student who is currently taking advantage of this fantastic opportunity, I can tell, I can tell you it works. Next, I'd like to highlight some of, some of the exciting events happening at our campus. First off, our art class have been hard at work producing beautiful pieces for Dia de los Muertos, taught by our wonderful teacher, Ms. Limas. 
The students have honored their loved ones and the heroes, heroes in drawings that are in a photorealism style. They, they then created mini altars to house their art. With the support of Cesar Chavez, ASB, and Mr. Timmons, these altars will be presented to a multimedia display by using QR codes to hear students tell their own stories and dedication to those who passed. The altars will be displayed in our campus wellness center for parents and classes to view. In addition to school event this year on Saturday, October 26, we will take our work out into the community for Dia de, Dia de Altares at Viva la Vida, where Chavez students and staff will proudly share their art with all of Santa Ana. Next, ASB is thrilled to present our first ever Halloween Chavez Boo Bash. Starting next week, during lunchtime, Chavez campus will be filled with activities like pumpkin carving contests, where teachers are paired with students, a multimedia haunted house experience, car carnival games, door decorating, and a pumpkin tree boucher. Built to a collaboration between our ASB teacher, Mr. Timmons, and science teacher, Mr. Wren. In ASB, our, our teacher also made me the leader of our media team, which produced our first ever Qu quarterly video news magazine, Eagles on Air. In our first episode, we covered parent involvement in Back to School Night, a science field trip, a student stories, as well as an original student com comedy skit. With that, thank you for this opportunity to share what is currently happening at Cesar e. Chavez. From Saddleback High School, Geraldine Venta. Good evening, Board President Amesqua, members of the School Board, Superintendents Tower and Rasmussen, District Cabinet, parents, students, and community members. My name is Geraldine Venta. I am happy to be here again today. I would like to thank you all by ha for having me here to talk about what makes my school such a wonderful place and to explain what it means to be part of the Roadrunner Nation. To start off, I would like to be begin by recapping the district-wide College Night Fair, which was on September 26, hosted by Saddleback High School. Our entire school worked together to help and organize an amazing experience for the SAUSD community. We had over 75 colleges and agencies that provided information and answered questions. Additionally, we hosted many different workshops and panels for those and one of those included a family and parent student panel, where our speakers provided and the audience with honest and insightful feedback about the college experience. Many SAUSD students and families also attended the workshop on how to handle stress and maintain, and maintain a balanced lifestyle. While learning what it means to practice self-care, students from, from all across the district were given opportunities to speak one-on-one -on -one with college reps and learn about the different college campuses. Thank you to all of those who attended this event and hopefully you had a wonderful night. Another college event that Saddleback students participated in last week was when our V students, including myself, were personally invited to attend a, spe a special field trip to a college fair in Laguna Hills that highlighted schools from out of state as well as out of the country. We were able to speak with colleges reps to discover what kind of unique opp opportunities were available for us as international baccalaureate students. Prior to attend this college fair, I've never thought of really about attending a college outside of California. But after being able to speak with some of the international college reps, I was able to discover some potential opportunities I, I was able, I never thought about. For example, I spoke with a rep from the University of the Naravara, which was a college in Spain. I learned that they have financial aid options for international students. I learned that I could give, get IB credit over there. This university was just one of the 100 colleges that were represented, and we were able to speak to all. We were able to speak to all. This was a great experience for us IB students because not only were we able to see the possibilities beyond just California, but we were also able to see the unique opportunities the IB program brings to us. Finally, this week we have our Spirit Week where all our students show their school spirit by participating in our Roaring Twenties theme, which leads up to this Friday, October 25th, which is our homecoming assembly and homecoming game. I'd like to invite you all to our homecoming game this Friday at 7 p.m. at, Saddle at Sigistrom High School. We're dressed in yellow or gold to support our football team. Hope 
We hope to see you there, and thank you again for allowing me to share these wonderful events going on at Saddleback High School. I look forward to seeing you all there. Go Roadrunner Nation. <laughs> Segerstrom High School, Noemi Portillo. Good evening, President Amesqua, members of the school board, superintendents Taran Rasmussen, and the community members. My name is Noemi Portillo, and I am the ambassador of Segerstrom Fundamental High School. At Segerstrom, our most recent, uh, recent activity, which took place this past Friday, was our pink out game which had our Jaguars decked out in pink to show their support for breast cancer. The Jaguars won 39 to six and are 8-0 undefeated. This week, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, this week, the team is taking on Marina for the Golden West League title. Winner takes it all, go Jaguars. At this game, we also honored our teachers. Certain teachers were individually picked by each of our football players to wear their jerseys as a way to show them appreciation for what they do for our students. At halftime, each teacher was announced. It was really cool. Another great accomplishment for our Jaguars was our marching band this past weekend. They came in third place at the Kennedy Field Show and came in second in pageantry. Speaking of victories, our girls tennis, boys water polo, and boys football are getting ready for the CAAF playoffs. From all the Jaguars at Sagerstrom, we would like to thank the school board for giving us the opportunity to take um, the, P the SAT and PSAT on October 16th. Um, we want to say thank you for pro providing this opportunity for our students as they prepare for college and for con your continued support. Touching on the topic of preparing for college, our students are taking full advantage of the resources our school has given us on college applications and filling out the FAFSA application. With the support of our school's higher education center and counselors at our FAFSA workshops, 100, 150 seniors, including myself, have already completed and submitted their FAFSA application. The pressures of college are on for our seniors, but thankfully we have our homecoming dance next week to give us an opportunity to let loose and have some fun. Our Alice in Wonderland themed dance will be sure to transport them to a wonderland full of Jaguar fun. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening and thank you for your time.